I'm sure. Thank you all for coming to this uh, very fun event. <laughs> I, uh, I, I want to acknowledge uh, board member Craig Labus for coming. Thanks, Craig. We appreciate that. I'd like to thank Mary Ann and her staff, uh, all the aldermen that, uh, that made this possible today. It's a very exciting day for all of us. Also, uh, where's Ann? Uh, I want to. Uh, uh, Introduce our, our new Club 2 director, uh, Melina Angeles. Hey, Melina. Congratulations. We're very excited about what she's doing. Her and her staff have been moving to new space today and are working very hard, but still found time to get out here with us. So we really, we really appreciate that. The new space that they're uh, working on today is at Division and, and Western. So uh, please talk to her. She'll be excited to tell you about the new programs <laughs> that they're getting ready for this summer. Uh, the aldermen uh, have made, done so much for, the, for our clubs, and we can't uh, thank them enough. Uh, Alderman Morena, who is here. Uh, <laughs> I brought gifts, too. So glad, so glad you could make it. We, we, we can't uh, thank you enough, and uh, you'll hear a little bit from Alderman Moreno today. Alderman Burnett, too. We, we can't thank you for, for uh, enough for all, that, all the help you provide our clubs. I just want to say a couple things about uh, Lee, about Leo, and, and I'll leave it to the experts who have uh, grown up in the clubs with him. Uh, you know, those of you who know, Leo's been working in one way or another with the club for I think 42 years. 42 years. Uh, it's it's amazing. Uh, even in my short tenure uh, with the club, which is much shorter than that, I've seen Leo do everything from the most high-level work that we demand of our directors. Uh, to flipping burgers uh, up at the camp, to disciplining people just by shooting them a glance, uh, and uh, and also making somebody feel comfortable with a smile. And that last one I mentioned because that's what I, when I think of Leo, I think of him and his smile and the comfort that he brings to people from all all the different types of people you have to work with with, with the clubs. Leo makes them all feel comfortable, valuable, and a part of it. And and. That's what it's all about. So, so thank you, Leo. He's been such a mentor to, to me, to our staff, and to the clubs. And uh, I just can't say how excited I am for this great honor. Here, here. Okay. okay. <laughs> With that, uh, I'm going to turn the presentation over to Harv Roman, uh, who you all know, who uh, is a, a, an alumni of the club for some further remarks. So thank you. You know when he tugs on that, it's going to say hard, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect because you've got a mix of club kids here, and then you've got like a couple of generations worth. Oscar's here, and his son Brandon is Leo's last year for the year, which makes him Alina's first year for the year going into next year. Earlier, I had taken a picture of the street sign, and behind it, you see the bricks. And so you put this on the Facebook thing, but you got Facebook now, and you've got club kids talking about, I remember those bricks. They have brick stories, they have fireplace stories, <laughs> they've got stories of the Buffalo and Leo's office. <laughs> the club, if you look at the cornerstone, they stood here as a club for 80 years. You know, that's more than half of the entire time that the building was here. That's an amazing thing that Leo's done. I have to thank Coco Joe Marino and his staff because I called, I think, originally in January. And City Hall, it's a process to do these things. And we wanted to get this done for Leo because the building is following in the footsteps pretty good, too. If you, if you don't know, it's going to become a school for, for special needs kids. So you're going to have kids walking through the doors, getting served in a lot of the same ways that we did, which I think is perfect. The fireplaces are going to stay in place from what the uh, contractors told me. The insides are going to change a little bit. But to have served kids for 80-some years and then continue to serve kids through those same doors, that's huge. Um, one of the other things that came up when we were talking about the street sign for Leo was the existing street sign for Little Eddie Velez. So I want to touch on that so then you guys know this. Um, years ago, and now Alderman Burnett, you had a hand in the original sign that went up. Eddie Velez was a three-year-old son of a club kid, Irene Cruz. And at the age of three, he passed away due to leukemia. And so this was one way that they thought Eddie could live on and with the sign. And every year, the Cruz, the Cruz family does fundraising for leukemia awareness. And they still live down the block. They're still on Ray Street. 
And um, there was a fear for a little while that one sign would go down for the other to win up. And I said, no. But if it looks like little Eddie's sign is going to go, we'll just put Leo on Ohio so we put my green <laughs> <laughs> um, So it, it's kind Should of be there when too. you think about it. When you think about all the lives that Leo impacted and the club impacted, and the big guy in the Buffalo office and the little kids underneath looking up to him, you see little Eddie kind of looking up to Leo sharing the same street post. I think that's huge. So now when we look at the street sign, we think about little Eddie and the battle that he lost at the age of three. And we look at big Leo, 42 years worth of impacting youth like Eddie, like his mom Irene, like his dad, big Eddie. And I, I think it's just a huge thing that now we'll have brick stories, fireplace stories, and a sign. And if Leo ever gets lost, something happens when he's 86 years old, <laughs> Go to Green Bay Road and leaves here, and all of a sudden you got Leo Barron Street. So that's pretty cool. So congratulations. Very cool to be a part of this. Very cool to be walking down the street. Thanks again. as well uh, that we'll, maybe we will unveil at the same time uh, you know 42 years of anything is an accomplishment it's like in giving to children and and you know we talk a lot about the building which is important but about a gentleman a leader like Leo and a dedication for 42 years I mean uh, the, 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 the smallest thing when the request came to my office I could do is to, is to put the street sign up and name the street after him I mean these are really our heroes we don't see the sun times here today we don't see the Tribune here. They want to report on things, uh, nefarious things and, and, and whatnot, and they should be reporting on this. This is really what we should be celebrating um, because, you know, heroes and champions, uh, obviously we see on, the, on, on our sports cast and we see uh, firefighters and our police, but without Leo uh, and his leadership over 42 years, we would not have the successful neighborhoods and children would not be able to, uh, you know, have their success in life without champions and leaders like Leo. So I just am humbled and blessed to be the alderman to be able to support this here in the first ward. And um, kudos to you, congratulations, um, but more importantly, a big thank you from our community. Thank you, Leo. And if uh, uh, my colleague and, and, and a neighbor, Alderman Burnett as well, um, thank you for being here and, and some comments from him. Thank you, thank you very much, Alderman. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to be able to speak in your ward. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a passport. Um, when Leo was here uh, years ago, I started as an alderman about 17 years ago. And Leo was running the club over here. Uh, and we didn't have a lot of problems. This is one of the few neighborhoods where we didn't have a lot of problems with the young people. And I found out the reason why was because they were all in the Union League Boys and Girls Club. And Leo always gave them something to do. You wouldn't have even known that young people lived in this neighborhood because you never saw them outside. They were always in the club right. doing something. So Leo, we want to thank you for your dedication to the neighborhood. Thank you for your dedication to the young people. I know you and your wife are still working with young people even though you guys are retired. That just shows where your heart is. So this sign is well deserved for you. It would not only be a memory uh, to you, but it would be a memory to all of the people who live in the neighborhood who aren't so young anymore who <laughs> came through you uh, uh, during those past. Some of them are 42 years old, too, Leo. <laughs> We've been here since 42 years. <laughs> or older. <laughs> so we just want to say God bless you and God speed be with you. Thank you very much, and congratulations to you. you want to present them to Leo, or do, should we uh, have Leo come over here? Mark? Yeah, I'd like, I'd like to have Sure. We all set here? Wait, wait, wait. Can we stand with you? Yeah, you know, sure can. So, you this know, way. You know, we have to get in front of you, Leo, because no one will be able to, no one will be able to see us. <laughs> that's, always, that's always been the way. That's always been the way. <laughs> but in battle, you want him in front. <laughs> oh, without a doubt. Bigger targets. <laughs> okay, where's your wife?
Where's the family? Wait, see this. Come on, come on. They're all, they're paparazzi. How about the family? Right here. Grab the string, you can help you. Can help. Pull, pull the big green thing, Matt. To make this official, as the alderman, I have to say, power invested in me, I will officially dedicate this street to our 42 year champion and hero, Leo. Leo. Spell Green Bay wrong. Bring Lombardi. This is another copy, perhaps, for another home or office. I can put in my wife's office. Don't forget your name. Hey, can you hold that up, Leo? Can you do a picture with the alderman? Sure. without me. Which way you want to face it? morning unless you guys know something that I know <laughs> thank you very much but it's really an honor and like uh, like Harvey pointed out uh, Eddie Velez being up there also is really special because he was even though he was too young to be a uh, member at the time he came from a family that were all members of the club so that's really something special uh, uh, just a few things, Alderman Burnett, we were fortunate enough when they re kind of did all the lines here, I think the line came kind of right down and we managed to sneak into the first ward back then. Across the street wasn't the first ward, but we were. And he was an excellent uh, alderman for us, really doing you know, all the little extra things and we really appreciated it. When we did something, either a street fair or something like that, he, sure made, he made sure that uh, whatever we need help know happen and Alderman Moreno also the same thing I I met him a couple weeks or weeks about a year and a half two years ago two blocks down when he was doing the same thing in a, on the corner of Erie and uh, Walcott so I got a chance to meet him and even though uh, the thing that we've changed and, uh, and uh, we've done some things but not as much as I would have liked uh, I appreciate what he's done for us also so thank you very much Harvey I'm retired now. You don't have to do anything more for me. I appreciate this. Uh, and, you know, just being here, a couple other things uh, I would be remiss. Uh, there were several executive directors that I worked for. Jay Markle was kind of the uh, person that gave the okay to hire me. Emil Single, who was uh, the director over at the Evil Empire, over at Club One. And... Uh, and, but I got to know him real well. And then, of course, Mary Ann, who's probably added another four, five, six, seven, eight years to my uh, work life here, because I've really enjoyed working for her also. So uh, thank you, everybody, all the alumni. I appreciate you coming out. Uh, just a little advertisement. If you're around, the 15th of July, I believe, is Alumni Day up at our camp. Uh, I've been, uh, I've, uh, my wife doesn't know it, but uh, as we've been moving out of the old building, a lot of the stuff that was in my file cabinets that probably should have been tossed out tw uh, 15, 20 years ago has made it to our basement. So I do have to uh, kind of go through that. I'm going to put together hopefully maybe a display that will be up for camp day if I get the okay to do that. So uh, it will be a worthwhile reason to come up to uh, alumni day up at our camp. But. Uh, uh, check my fa uh, Facebook, whatever it's called, like it's Facebook, and, uh, and I will have some uh, information about it on that. But thank you very much. Uh, I was going to tell a story, but it's too hot, so we'll stop. Uh,